Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Acme with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Wednesday, the 11th of November. Starting off with Braveheart Investment Group, where uh, the shares are of note because of the three day uh, intraday bear trap from below the uh, mid October support. That was at 30 pence. We had lows of uh, what? Uh, 28 uh, pence, etc. over the last three sessions since the uh, Monday meltdown uh, in COVID plays. Uh, what will be useful today is uh, not only seeing an end of day close uh, back above uh, 30 pence, which we've already had for the last couple of sessions, but also uh, back above the 50 day line at 34.61. Above that, uh, hopefully one would at least see uh, the 20 day moving average at 44 and then perhaps up towards 50 pence. After that, as a right shoulder on the uh, top that we've had there, uh, even if we then come back after that. But uh, 44 and then around 50 uh, looks to be uh, nailed on there while we hold above the 50-day line on the Braveheart daily chart. Emotion is uh, next, and uh, here we've got uh, uh, excitement coming in the form of the break of the 200-day moving average at 3.36. We had a bull trap through the 200-day line in uh, August, so obviously one has to be slightly wary. But uh, at least while we're above the 50-day moving average at 2.91 pence, a retest of uh, August resistance at 5 pence should be on the cards with the best-case scenario target up towards 8 pence over the next, um, well, I suppose by the end of the year at the top of the broadening triangle from March, uh, again on the uh, the daily chart. Uh, uh, end of day close uh, today above the 200 day line should hopefully seal the deal in terms of more follow through towards five pence. A few new names today, or newer names, or more obscure names um, for the Bulletin Board Heroes. The first one is uh, Ince Group, uh, where we had uh, the uh, quite typical actual um, bear trap below 20 pence. Uh, the stocks, we seem to have seen a lot of uh, small cap stocks with either a bear trap right at the end of October or beginning of November. This one was uh, beginning of this month. Uh, end of day close above the 50 day moving average at 21.9 pence should allow the shares to at least hit the 200 day line at uh, 27 pence with uh, an end of year target, uh, end of next month target towards 35 pence, uh, especially while we remain above the uh, 20 pence level. On to a uh, stock which I've been meaning to get round to uh, for a, a while, but uh, haven't quite managed it. Uh, Chromec uh, Group, uh, a good price action today above the 50-day uh, moving average at 12 pence. And uh, while we're above that, looking towards the 200-day line and uh, last month's peak around 16 pence. Obviously, if you're cautious on the stock, you'd wait for an end-of-day close through 13.5 pence, which is late October and early November resistance. But uh, it does look as though... Uh, the shares are finally on their way after that uh, October uh, bear trap and um, breaking the triangle here uh, could see the shares up towards, uh, I suppose, uh, 18, 19 pence at the top of that uh, August trend channel uh, again over the next month or two. Uh, stock which had a bit of f fire in its belly today is um, Mines and Machines. Uh, here we've got a break of this falling wedge from June and the 20 day moving average of 4.49 pence and end of day close above that line from September should hopefully open up uh, the top of the post June triangle on the daily chart at 8 pence uh, hopefully as soon as the end of next month. The positive here really is the way that we've had uh, even though we had lower lows for October uh, we had uh, the RSI remaining uh, pretty flat and bullish divergence coming in for November so that does give the impression that uh, we had an overshoot uh, last month and uh, the higher low this month could take the shares higher. On to Octagonal, which uh, is uh, attempting a breakout now. We've had uh, the shares in a broadening triangle from uh, way back in uh, November 2018 or December 2018. Uh, I need to see an end of day or end of week close above two pence to give us the hope of a top of triangle target of three pence. Stop loss on the bull argument at the moment, the 50-day moving average on an end-of-day close basis at 1.66 pence. Hopefully with the, the COVID crisis uh, uh, cured, at least to some extent, uh, the oil and gas area could uh, uh, start to revitalize itself. And that's what we're seeing on the daily chart of um, Premier at the moment. Uh, here we've got the possibility of a move to the top of uh, this uh, broadening triangle that I'm drawing from September. 
uh, a decent end of day close uh, today or on a weekly close basis about 15 and a quarter pence at the 50 day line should be enough uh, to take the shares up towards 25 pence hopefully by the end of the year uh, stock which I covered in the uh, COVID plays uh, yesterday or the day before can't quite remember now uh, was remote monitored systems the idea there was that uh, there's a possibility of a uh, a double uh, support area around 0.9 pence and the 50-day moving average. Uh, that's uh, turned out to be true. Uh, we were looking for the 20-day uh, line at 1.94 to be the uh, initial target there, and we've uh, overshot that. Uh, possibly the uh, the resistance from Monday uh, around 2.8 pence would be the best-case scenario target over the next couple of weeks. Uh, as long as we remain above the 20-day line at 1.94, that looks like the key level at the moment. Uh, Starcom is the stock which has uh, uh, had a difficult history in terms of getting itself off the ground. We had a false dawn move uh, for the shares. We've had many false dawn move, moves for the shares in fact but the last one was uh, bull trap through 1.2 pence in August. Uh, looking a bit more um, sprightly now uh, with the support today coming in uh, wholly above the 200 day moving average at 0.97. And while we're above that looking for uh, an optimistic sounding target the one year uh, price channel top at 1.6 and 1.7 pence hopefully by the end of this year although obviously you can see it's been a very very choppy chart uh, the interest I suppose in the near term was that final bear trap below 0.8 pence uh, just to f flick out the weak hands in the stock so I said oil and gas uh, could be making a comeback and um, if that's the case then uh, bombed out situation like uh, Tallow could be worth uh, looking at. Uh, here we've got the shares approaching the 200 day moving average at 24, well 25 pence let's call it. Uh, at end of day or end of week close above 24 pence which was last October peak could be enough to uh, give us uh, some extra momentum for the shares. Not quite sure whether uh, 70 pence is a little bit optimistic. That is a line of resistance uh, from uh, back in March uh, but probably a more realistic uh, destination over the next uh, month or two maybe towards the upper 30s which is uh, the top of the rising trend channel from uh, late uh, uh, August or late July rather and uh, that would be valid while we hold above the last resistance uh, from October at uh, just under uh, the 20.5 pence levels so above 20 and a half looking for 38 uh, over the next uh, six weeks or so. Uh, good to see Two Shields back um, after its uh, Brand Shield deal. Uh, here we've got the shares uh, retracing uh, some of their recent or uh, well, the previous gains, but uh, still holding above uh, the 200 day moving average at 0.1 pence, and in fact, currently holding above the 50 day line at 0.11. End of day close above uh, 0.11 should at least uh, give the shares the opportunity of retesting recent resistance towards uh, 0.15 pence. And if you can clear that up to 0.23 or 0.24, uh, which is the top of that rising trend channel from February. So above 0.1 looking okay for recovery at two shields. Finishing off uh, with uh, Tasty, which um, was going to cover yesterday, but uh, too many situations yesterday to look at. Uh, current situations, we've had um, a gap through the 50-day moving average, which is uh, one of our more favoured signals. Uh, while we remain above the 50-day line at 1.84 on an end-of-day close basis, the best-case scenario target here is towards that uh, resistance line projection from March, currently pointing as high as uh, 4.5 pence. If you're cautious on the shares, which somebody, uh, some people may be, uh, maybe wait for the 200-day moving average 2.36 to break uh, before taking the plunge. But uh, we've got decent bullish divergence there with a lower low in the price window. Uh, mat not matched by lower uh, a lower trace in the RSI window, so looking relatively healthy from a, a bear trap a technical perspective. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.